Hopefully you watched the video E&M Coding for Beginners. If you haven't already, I suggest you do so before watching this video. As you know, E&M codes contain three key components, the history, examination, and medical decision-making. Those three key components help determine the level of E&M code for the service rendered to the patient. Today, we are going to dive deeper into the history component. E&M coding history. Remember there are three key components, history, exam, and MDM. These three components are so important because they represent the amount of time, effort, and resources expended by the provider when taking care of a patient. One other thing I would like to point out is Appendix C in the CPT codebook. This includes clinical examples um, that show the appropriate selection of E&M codes for specific medical specialties, so check that out. Types of histories. As you can see, each type of history includes some or all of the same elements, and those are the chief complaint, history of present illness, review of systems, and past family and or social history. There are four different types of histories, problem focused, expanded problem focused, detailed, and comprehensive. History contents. Each type of history includes some or all of the following. The chief complaint, history of present illness, review of systems, and past family and or social history. And I have this nice little diagram that shows that the history, exam, and MDM all fall into the E&M code. Chief complaint. The CC is a statement describing the symptoms, problem, condition, diagnosis, or other factor as the reason for the visit. An example. A patient is being seen for a sore throat that started one day ago and is getting worse. History of present illness. The HPI describes the patient's developing conditions from onset to present. Signs and symptoms are included. Elements included in the HPI are location, severity, timing, quality, duration, associated signs and manifestations, context, and modifying factors. An example, a 17-year-old female patient presents to the emergency department with constant pain in lower abdomen, which has been getting worse over the course of the last two months. She states the pain is worse with urination. Two types of HPI. One is a brief HPI, which refers to one to three HPI elements. Two is extended HPI, and this refers to four or more HPI elements. Example, an 18-year-old patient seen in provider's office with flu-like symptoms. The patient has had fever, chills, and body aches for 48 hours, and the symptoms are worse at night. So our chief complaint would be flu-like symptoms. And then the duration is 48 hours, associated signs, fever, chills, and body aches, and the timing is worse at night. That equals three HPI that have been documented, and this falls into the brief HPI category. Under history component, you'll see chief complaint and history of present illness. The HPI contains the location, Duration, severity, quality, context, timing, modifying factors, and associated signs and symptoms, just like we discussed on the previous slide. In addition, there is problem focused, which is brief, one to three HPI documented, expanded problem focused, brief, one to three HPI documented, detailed, extended, four or more HPI, or status of three or more chronic conditions documented, and comprehensive, extended, four or more HPI, or status of three or more chronic conditions documented. Review of systems. Another section of the history component is the review of systems, also known as ROS. The ROS information is obtained by the provider through a series of questions that help to identify signs and symptoms that the patient may be experiencing or had experienced. 
And the systems that would be reviewed are the constitutional systems, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, throat, cardiovascular, respiratory, gastrointestinal, genitourinary, musculoskeletal, integumentary, neurologic, psychiatric, endocrine, hematologic, and lymphatic, and the allergic immunologic. Three types of ROS. There is problem pertinent ROS, extended ROS, and complete ROS. If you would like to read each of these squares, just pause the video. There are three levels of ROS, problem pertinent, extended, and complete. A problem pertinent ROS is the review of one system. An extended ROS is the review of two to nine systems. And a complete ROS is the review of 10 or more systems. Remember, this is not an examination. This is still only talking with the provider. This is just a question and answer session between the doctor and the patient. Um, these questions help the provider determine what the area of focus should be during the physical exam. Past family social history. So past history, these are your past experiences with illness, operations, injuries, treatments, medications, etc. Family history would be medical events in the patient's family. Think of a patient whose mother has had breast cancer. That would need to be documented in that patient's record at what age the mother was diagnosed, her status, is she alive or deceased, and then, um, you know, what's the progress. Social history, this is age-appropriate, review of past and current social activities, how much alcohol, you know, does the patient smoke tobacco or vape, do they use drugs, how much caffeine, what are their hobbies, religion, etc. Two types of PFSH, so pertinent PFSH, documentation of at least one specific item from any of the three history areas, and then a complete PFSH, one specific item from two of the three history areas. So something that I want to point out is that a chief complaint is required for all history types. It's just I don't say that every time. And here is another little handy dandy chart to look at. On this slide, I have combined all of the handy dandy little charts and to make one big table. So the CC must be documented for all levels, like I said previously, and all three levels must be met to qualify for the specific overall level. Example. A provider documents the chief complaint for HPI, for ROS, and no PFSH. The level would be problem focused. So if you look at this chart, you could map it out. You would look at the for HPI, which falls under detailed, for ROS, which falls under extended, and no PFSH. So since none were documented, the highest level we could code would be the expanded problem focus because they all three have to meet that level. So the highest level that's met is the expanded problem focused. Example two, provider documents the chief complaint, an extended HPI and complete ROS and the PFSH is pertinent the level would be detailed. So let's use this chart to map it out again. We go and we look for an extended HPI and a complete ROS. And then we look for the PFSH that is pertinent. So for this example, we would stick with pertinent because that is the highest level of PSH that was compute that was completed. That wraps up ENM coding history. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned for part two.